So I suppose I still owe you guys a video from the last series. That'll be uh, the truck decon. For now let's turn down that ugly compressor noise a bit so we can hear what Carl Willis has to say about this. Uh, so we're at the Chernobyl power plant uh, in the background, the new safe confinement, and we are decontaminating this truck. Uh, Edward's over here, he's wearing the respirator, uh, and he's going to use the hose to spray off the uh, radioactive contamination we found. This truck belongs to uh, uh, Kilbarka. Uh, let's rotate this thing. Show the truck. Show the truck. Show the truck. Uh, Spasiba. Uh, uh, Novarka uh, uses these trucks on the construction site for the new safe confinement, and they become radioactive in the process of doing their work. And so we're using this pressure washer to remove the loose contamination, most of which consists of uh, uh, soil. These are the contaminated areas on this particular vehicle. And we use uh, the pressure washer to remove that soil onto the ground right here. This is just in an area west of the new safe confinement that is particularly contaminated because it's where the plume of materials came when the accident happened. I know this kind of sounds as if it had been recorded while sitting on the toilet, but believe me, it's actually much better than the original compressor noise in there. Sorry about that. So here we're in the process of finding contamination on that truck. And this is actually the real stuff. They put real contaminated Chernobyl soil on this truck. So it's cesium, strontium, plutonium, you name it. This would never be possible as an exercise in Germany. You would use a very weak uh, Thoron uh, ra radon source for that and simulate it and have a billion papers to fill and just be left with like pretty much playing around, no real danger. In Ukraine, that doesn't happen. In Ukraine, you get the real shit right from the start, even for a training exercise. And if you ask me whether that's good or bad, it's fucking awesome. Because you don't learn to, it's like, oh, nothing's dangerous. Oh, we can just toy around and sit around on this radioactive shit. No, you, you get to be alert right from the start because you know that you're handling the real stuff. And yeah, of course, there's people like me, the crazy people who don't really give a shit about any of that. But uh, that's not how you teach your civil defense personnel. That's what I'm talking about. Understood. So this is the basic technique. We're just going to look for uh, beta contamination here. And we found some very significant contamination right here. So that's the uh, times 10 scale. We're off scale. That looks like about 100,000 uh, counts per minute. With the tube in this uh, particular configuration, the Ludlum 449 pancake detector. Now the uh, Chernobyl dosimetrist has a different type of detector and uh, it can discriminate alpha from beta. So. so here we're comparing the readings that we got from our devices uh, with the readings that the real working Chernobyl dosimetrist got on his device. Right now we found our contamination and it's time to actually decon that truck. So here comes the compressor again, brace. And you can see, yeah, one of our American physicists, MIT student, very brilliant guy, but um, you can see the typical physicist cliche, not too good with uh, doing manual labor. Here's the Ukrainian worker showing how it's really done. Uh, that's, that's gonna take forever otherwise. He's like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> it's kind of funny. And you can also see that the Ukrainian personnel is dressed quite differently to us. We're wearing fully protective cam suits, while these guys are wearing pretty much something that they would wear in the kitchen or something. It looks like it anyway. That's because you can't really work, uh, I don't know for how long these guys work, 8 hours, 12 hours a day. You can't work for more than 2 or 3 hours in one of these cam suits that we are wearing. So, what do you do? Anyway, decon is on, so let's hand over to Carl again. We just went and looked at some of this contaminated stuff, and it's hot. It's good and hot. New safe confinement is over here, about ready to slide over the uh, remains of the old Unit 4 in Chernobyl. My mask doesn't fit very well today. And all the Western Radiation Protection Office is gonna be like, cringe! <laughs> 
moving right along, what you can see here is uh, yeah, some debris basically from uh, the turbine building. Anything that is not that contaminated is uh, stored outdoors for the sake of storing the really, really bad stuff, such as the chimney indoors and under the roof. They were just discussing where the most contaminated, the dirtiest stuff is, and uh, yeah, to take us there because they're nice guys. Yeah, yeah. Ukrainian workers are a little bit <laughs> amused about the strange foreigners, no weird costumes, hunting radiation. Yeah. Yeah, even with gamma. <laughs> it's peg. What scale is it on? Oh, it's the top scale, 100. <laughs> yep, peg yeah, on 100 over here as well. That's a complete overload right there. <laughs> even the energy compensated gamma is already 20. Yeah. Yep, bits and pieces from inside the turbine hall where they're currently dismantling everything. And you can see they are wrapped up in plastic. Uh, just to not contaminate the soil underneath too much, I suppose. And that concludes our little Chernobyl decontamination exercise. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.